Uh, good morning, YouTube. Just wanted to uh, make a quick video um, for some things that I was searching for on YouTube and was having problems finding. Um, this is the Alpha One uh, 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 brick pizza oven. Um, this is the propane version that comes with the natural gas conversion kit. Um, and what I wanted to just make a quick video of is how easy it is to convert this from the propane to natural gas with the included conversion kit. So when you buy the oven, everything you need is going to be there except one piece. And I'm going to show you what that piece is. Um, just wanted to relieve everyone's anxieties on that if I possibly could. Um, this is the oven with the chimney. You can see already on. I actually... Um, have the oven's pilot light um, on right now. You can see here, um, just to show it working, it's already set on. All I did was uh, turn the knob to the spark symbol, hold it in for, for about 10, 15 seconds, and then hit the igniter button down here. Um, and you can see, I'll now put it onto high, and it lights it right up. And that's what it looks like when it's burning on natural gas. Um, takes about seven minutes for the stone to get up to about 500 degrees. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, let me show you the uh, back connector here. I'm actually going to leave that lit because I don't want to uh, just start it up for a few minutes and not let it dry out. It's rather humid this morning. Um, sorry about the, the shih tzu in the background there. Uh, let me show you the back of the oven. I just want to point out one thing. Uh, unfortunately, what my setup is, I have to walk around it. Uh, you can see here on the back of the oven, um, first thing, um, you can see that the uh, this is the new label you're going to put on once you convert to natural gas. I wanted to point out the, the pilot gas orifice is a 0.411 millimeter. Um, if you look at the pilot gas orifice for the LP version, uh, before you convert it, it's 0.41. So when the instructions tell you to change out that that pilot spud, you do not need to do that. I repeat, you do not need to do that. The extra spud that they give you is um, just an extra spud for if you're having problems with that clogging up in the future. Um, all you really have to change on the inside of the burner is the actual pilot nozzle, which is so simple with an 11 millimeter wrench um, or a spanner as they call it. Um, and then when you pull the, when you pull the gas burner out, um, there's just one screw on the front, which I should have pointed out when I was up there. Maybe I will before the end of the video. And then two screws back here, one, one up top here, and then one down here. Then you're going to put a, um, a, uh, expander on the, or an extension on the back of the gas burner, just so you have more clearance for the regulator. One elbow connect the elbow here, um, use uh, the Teflon tape that's approved for natural gas. It actually comes with a roll of that, so you'll have that there. Um, you could put this vertically instead of the way I did. Um, it's just a matter of preference there. Uh, just make sure everything's good and tight. Uh, the, the regulator is gonna come set up for, um, for LP. You're gonna unscrew this cap. There's a pin inside there. They give you very clear pictures. All you do is unscrew the pin, which is attached to the cap, flip it over and screw it back in, match the picture and the instructions. You're set up for natural gas. Um, these pieces were also included. Um, the regulator is included in the kit. Uh, so is this piece here to convert you over. I believe that uh, goes over to half inch. Um, the only thing I had to buy that I did not have was a um, was this brass piece right here, so that I could get it down reduced down to my uh, hose for the natural gas, um, and that that was it. Uh, the hose itself, they include one for propane, but they do not include one for the natural gas, and unfortunately, the hose they include is attached to the propane regulator, um, the 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 bottle cap regulator, so. You, you can't really use that hose. You're going to have to go out and get your own hose or a flex line that you can use for natural gas. I have mine split with my, um, with my natural gas Weber grill. 
and uh, it uh, works great. Uh, can run both at high, no problems. I think you need to have at least a half inch pipe coming out to your feed, but quite frankly, not very often you're gonna use one or the other at the same time. So I don't think that's really that big of an issue if you just wanna go back and forth between the two. I do shut my gas off every time um, after I'm done using it just for safety, but you can also, uh, if you leave yours on, make sure you check for leaks. That's very important. Um, last thing I'm gonna show you is in the bottom left-hand corner of the door here, you're gonna see there's a screw right there. I'm gonna be careful because it's a little, getting a little hot. Um, that little screw there, you're gonna need to unscrew that to remove the burner. So you're gonna take this cap off, unscrew that screw, um, and then the two screws in the back, and that burner's gonna slide right out the back, pull it out slowly, and then disconnect the little wire that's on your igniter probe looks like this. You can see here, this video has been six minutes long. The oven's already reaching around 850 degrees on the ceiling. I'll give you one last look. Um, just awesome. That brick temperature is definitely not up to 800 yet, just <laughs> for full disclosure. But um, I'd say you're with the, depending on your ambient temperature outside, you're probably ready to cook a Neapolitan pizza in about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, regular Detroit style pizza, you're probably ready to go. I would say 15 minutes tops. Um, just that, that stone warms up so fast. It's fantastic. Um, I've been cooking with uni ovens for years now. Um, I decided I wanted a little more space and a little better stone to cook on that retains more heat. The nice thing about the Alpha Ones is the insulation properties um, are just, you pay for it, I mean, compared to the Uni, but the insulation properties are incredible. Um, I had this oven on for about 40 minutes last night. My stone temperature was 900 degrees, and you could literally put your hand on this oven with absolutely no problems. It was fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you're interested in Alpha One, um, I bought mine online, had it delivered, uh, came in very nice packaging. Um, just wanted to make this video because I don't see a lot of information out there. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if they're new to the market or what. I know Alpha has been around since 1977. So, I mean, they're, they're a fantastic company. Uh, yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments. Anything I can help with with that natural gas conversion if you're choosing to do that. Otherwise, you're ready to go out of the box with propane. Everything you need for propane is included. Um, and uh, yeah, happy pizza making. Have a great day.